All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to cover right now at the OG University Training Center is I want to talk to you about something that is very simple. I want to talk to you right now about how to sample your way to success. Sample your way to success. And what we've done is we've created something very simple, something so duplicatable, something that's so achievable that anybody, you know, Gano Gold, who wants to build a successful business, they can actually do it. And I'm talking about the four questions. You know, people are always asking us, how in the world have we built such a large organization of a consumer base? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not because everybody's a great recruiter, because most people are not. It's not because great, we have great salespeople in Organo Go. Why? Most people are not great salespeople. But what we have is this. We have the most amazing product that's been developed. Uh, and, 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 and our product, because it comes in a sample form, it's really the silver bullet for us. When you think about what companies like America Online did, all they did was they sent out these free CDs to everybody in America, and guess what? They gave them a free opportunity to try the internet uh, service. America Online became the number one internet service provider in all of the world on the internet by giving away free samples. Well, guess what? Organo Gold, we've got that goal, and you know what that is. We are going to capture that 1%, that $125 million per month of coffee sales is going to go all through this organization and the compensation plan that Organo Gold has been so generous to give us uh, pretty much is around a 50-50 split ratio. That means that $62.5 million per month on an estimated amount, when we accomplish that, is going to be put back into the bank accounts, into the pockets of the distributors who are out there doing the work. Well, where does it all start? Ladies and gentlemen, it all starts with a sample. And I want to go ahead and take you through four simple questions of how you go out and prospect with Organo Gold. Now, let's just say that I was talking to someone, and maybe I saw them in line. Maybe this is a cold prospect, a warm prospect. Uh, and a cold prospect is somebody you don't know. A warm prospect is somebody that you do know. Um, and uh, a hot prospect is somebody that you've recently uh, been talking to, that you talk to them on a regular basis, all right? And so let's just say I'm talking to a warm prospect, somebody maybe I, I work out with at the gym or something of that nature, all right? Or maybe, uh, you know, that uh, we pick up our kids at the same uh, um, you know, uh, carpool or whatever it may be. So the first question is this, do you or anybody that you know of drink coffee or tea at least occasionally? Okay. And when you're asking these questions, ladies and gentlemen, what you want to do is you want to be very normal and natural. Don't use this as a script. By the way, if you want to get this in written form, just click on the button there and the four questions on the script form, you'll actually be able to download that as well, but I'm giving it, giving, it, giving it to you in real life. So first question again is, do you or anybody that you know of drink coffee or tea at least occasionally? You wait for the answer. Typically that answer is going to be what? Yes. Why? Because ladies and gentlemen, it's them or somebody that they know of. Second question is going to be, well how do you drink your coffee? Do you drink it with black or do you drink it with cream and sugar? And what you got to do is listen. And what you'll find is those people are actually going to give you all the answers. This is conversation style. Third question is, well, who do you normally buy your coffee from? You buy from Starbucks? You buy from, you know, Maxwell House Folgers? Make a couple of suggestions and listen. And then when they give you the answer, the fourth question is, well, when is the last time that particular company ever sent you a commission check for drinking or sharing their coffee? And they're going to look at you and laugh just like most people do. And guess what? At that time, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you do. You reach into your pocket. And let's just say they said that they like it with cream and sugar. See, I happen to keep my latte in my right pocket, and I happen to keep my black in my left pocket because I never want to be fumbling around with which one of my pockets I have my coffee in. So if they drink cream and sugar, I, I just gingerly reach into my right pocket, and I say, you know what? I want to give you a free sample of the coffee that pays. Could you do me a favor? Could you actually try this coffee? Tell me what you think about the taste and how it makes you feel. That is it. I don't tell them about how great it's going to feel. I never give them suggestions that, that it's even healthy coffee. Why people don't have a habit of drinking healthy coffee, but they do have a habit of drinking coffee. My next question to them is this. Do you drink coffee at least once a day? Sure, they're going to say. Well, listen, I'll call you tomorrow so that I can get those two pieces of information. I'll call you by the time you get off of work. By the way, what's the best number to reach you outside of home and work? Guess what they're going to give me? Their cell phone number. Okay? And ladies and gentlemen, what you do is you just uh, affix your label on the back of your coffee. That's your business card to them. They just gave you their cell phone number, and guess what? You call them at the exact time or the area of time that you told them that you were going to call. That's part 
of the follow-up. Those are the four questions that you ask. Now, what I want to talk to you about right now is what do you say when you call them back? How have we transferred these, these uh, free samples of coffee into customers and to distributors all over the world? Well, when you call them back, this is what you do. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up a call to John, and John is the person who I actually gave the sample to, and I called John on the phone and say, John, hey, listen, how you doing, man? I was just giving you a call like I told you I would. I was very interested in, in getting those two pieces of feedback from you from the coffee. Have you had a chance to drink the coffee? Well, typically, you're going to say yes, and when they say yes, tell me, John, what did you think about the taste? And he'll tell you, John, well, did you notice anything about how you felt? Remember let them tell you don't suggest anything because you want a true real testimony you don't want something that's hypothetical so when John tells you that this is what I say well John listen let me ask you a question I know that you were drinking X brand of coffee first now John you and I know that coffee is normally not the best thing for you but John if you can replace your unhealthy coffee with a healthier version how much longer do you want to drink the bad stuff John typically says well not too much longer and I'll say, John, you know, there's three ways that you can actually get our coffee. You can actually get it at retail, and when you get it from retail, John, I'll make a small commission on, uh, on the coffee that you buy from me. John, you can also get this coffee at the wholesale level. The wholesale level, that means you're going to get it the exact same price that I'll get it, or, John, you can get it from me for free. All right. Well, John, how would you like to get it? Typically, John's going to say free. How does John get his coffee for free? This is what I want you to understand about the uniqueness of this sample here. John, could you give me the name of two people that I can give free samples to on your behalf? And John, every time they buy a box of coffee, the profit that you make from it allows you to get a box for free. Ladies, that's how simple the four questions are. Let me go back through those questions again. The first question is, do you or anybody that you know of drink coffee or tea, at least occasionally? Second question is, well, how do you drink your coffee, black or cream and sugar? Third question is, well, who do you normally buy your coffee from? Fourth question is, when is the last time that company ever sent you a commission for drinking or sharing their coffee? And ladies and gentlemen, if you can learn to ask those four questions, keep it very simple, and don't become a salesperson. Just be someone who goes out and give out free samples of coffee. Learn how to follow up and follow up with 100% of the people that you give free samples to. You know what has happened in my case? In my case, one out of every five people that I give samples to and I follow up with the four questions, guess what? They become distributors. Now, two out of every five people that I've actually personally sampled become retail customers. Can I guarantee you that's what's going to be your numbers? No, your numbers can be better than mine. They can be worse than mine. But I can tell you this. You know, that's three out of every five people that I give my product to that actually generate coffee sales for me, either wholesale or retail. So ladies and gentlemen, that's a very simple way to go out there and build your business with the four questions. Remember again, it's what? It's easy, it's simple, it's coffee.